Hey, I'm Jake, and for this video I'll be sharing with you my workflow for working with drum audio samples in Logic Pro X. So here's an example. I have a four bar loop, and I dragged the audio in, and these are all percussive uh, audio files, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Okay, now these are the drum samples, these are just the chords. And over here, I have the next part where I want to I have the next part where I want to transfer certain drum elements, but not all of it. Okay. So, what I see a lot of people do is they'll try to highlight the percussion and then they'll hold Option and drag, and then they'll try to match it, which is fine, but that can get pretty tiring. So they'll do something like this, and then they'll try to get the drums, and then they'll put it here, and then maybe get the hi-hats. You have to be pretty conscious of where you're placing it, and that's pretty annoying. I think there's a faster way, and that's by using the marquee tool. So I press T, and the marquee tool's over here, and I press R. I make sure that my left click is staying at the marquee tool, and I just highlight the parts that I want. And I make sure that the marquee tool highlights the exact measures. So from bar one to bar four, for example, if I wanted the these weird percussive sounds, I just highlight it from bar four to one, I press Command C to copy, and wherever I want to paste it, I just left click, making sure that my marquee tool is still in place, then I press Command V. Then I press T and T again to go back to my pointer tool really fast, and I can play it. So let's say maybe I want these bottom, not this, but maybe I want these snares. So I press T and R and highlight the same way I did with the hi-hats. Command C, click where I wanted to paste, and I press Command V. And I press T and T again to go back to the pointer tool. Okay, so that's one way. And instead of highlighting, the problem with highlighting sometimes if you've ever had big projects, when you highlight, you might do something like this, and then you'll, you'll try to drag and paste to the next section, and realize that some parts are missing. The first kick is missing, and this, uh, there are some audio samples that are missing. So I'm going to undo, and show you again with the marquee tool, press T and R, and just highlight from bar 4 to 1, the four bars that you want, press command, uh, command C to copy, click wherever you want to paste it, maybe I want to paste it here, and press command V. Press T and T again, and you have everything in check. <laughs> Now, <clears throat> let's copy and paste these hi-hats or snares. Here's another tip. If you're working with drums, actually we'll just work here. Let's undo that. If you're working with drums and you want to move it, it's pretty frustrating to do this all the time and then, you know, have to do that. So what you can do, you have a set of command command keys which are control option either control option M control option B control option D or control option T and that kind of allows you to move it so if I press control option B that moves the audio file by beat so I'm making sure that I press the key commands first so I make sure that the audio file is going to move by beat and not according to any other me measure I'm not sure if that made sense. So now I press Control Option B, and if I press Option and left click or right click, it'll move accordingly. 
If I don't want it to move that far, I can press Control Option D. And when I press Option or left, uh, Option left or Option right, it moves accordingly. Um, just get used to that. Again, it's Control Option B, and I think that stands for bar or beat. Control Option M stands for measure. So if I press Control Option M, then I move move it by pressing Option left, Option right. It moves by measure. And Control Option T is by tick. So it moves in really small steps. I hope this video helped, and if you enjoyed this, yeah, the whole like subscribe thing. Anyhow, take care.